who doesn't love a good orgasm? Any person does, both man or woman. Did you know that the man, the male, can experience three types of different orgasms? This is not normally known to men. This is something that's more into the world of esoteric knowledge. But actually, there are three different types of orgasms that I want to explain. And I know this because I've experienced all three. So I want to share with you what my experiences are with them and ultimately how you can experience them if you're interested. Let me explain. Hi, my name is Nikula Daz, and I help men master their S3X energy so you can unleash your God-given talents and abilities. You are a conscious leader, and you are an orgasmic being. Go to the link in the description below and take the free S3X transmutation guide to get started on your journey into mastery of your energy. You are an orgasmic being, meaning you are pleasurable by nature. The Sanskrit word is ananda. It says that the soul is such an ananda, eternal, full of knowledge and blissful. So the word orgasm is blissful, a blissful state. And so the first orgasm, which every man is familiar with and everybody's familiar, is an ejaculatory orgasm. So most men consider orgasm and ejaculation to be the same thing because it happens simultaneously. So what is an orgasm? An orgasm is a pulsation of energy. That's why during any type of uh, S3X activity, there is a buildup, a buildup, a buildup. And the more you build it up, the more energy is being built up. And it's very pleasurable until there is an orgasm, till that energy pulsates and you feel those sensations. Now, most men are restricted to just an ejaculatory or genital orgasm, which essentially is a buildup of energy that happens in the genitals and then is pulsates and that pulsation of energy then creates the energy to essentially release the semen. Now, the purpose of that ejaculation is for the creation of babies. So that is its function at a, at a very basic level. Now, as human beings, we don't just have S3X for babies. We have S3X for pleasure. We have S3X for many reasons, power, dominance, uh, validation. I mean, there are so many reasons why people are having S3X, uh, but at its nature, it's for babies. So essentially, if you're not going to have a baby, there's really no need to ejaculate. Now, if you're freaked out by that and you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? Well, stick to the video and learn a little bit more. So the second type of it, orgasm is a non-ejaculatory orgasm. So a non-ejaculatory orgasm is a pulsation of energy, but the pulsation doesn't happen at the genitals. It happens throughout the body. It's a full body orgasm. How this happens is that when you are engaged in S3X, through the practices of alchemy, which is what I teach my students, you can draw the energy up through the body and circulate it. So when the pulsation happens, it doesn't happen in the genitals. For me, it generally happens between my shoulder blades. And where your mind goes, energy flows. So your mind is so powerful. Think like a Jedi Knight who's like, focus its mind and some, make something happen, right? Your mind is so powerful. But most of our minds have been degraded because of the drugs and the alcohol and television and Netflix and video games and all these outside stimulations. Most of our minds aren't even in our bodies. We're like, our bodies are like, our minds are like out here. Most people are outward directed. But through spiritual practice, through spiritual technology, through the process of alchemy, which I can teach you, your mind will become inward directed. Your awareness points, instead of being outwardly focused through the senses, become, they like collapse back inwards, where you are now, your attention is now inwards. And guess who's in there? G-O-D, God, yeah, he's kicking it in there. Your soul is in there. You're in there, the real you, not the body, but the real you, the soul. And you see, the soul is ananda, pleasurable. It's already orgasmic. So the more you're in touch or you're aware of your own being, 
you're aware of your own awareness, you naturally start to live in a more pleasurable state, which naturally detaches you or untangles you from all of the distractions that this world is offering you. So, the ejaculatory orgasm is called a peak orgasm in some traditions, because think of it, it's like a peak, it's penetrative, it's very intense, but lasts very quickly, 30 seconds of, ah, oh, and then it's over, and then you get a prolactin uh, release into your system, that's why most men feel tired after, you know, and want to go to bed. And then, because it's so heightened and so much dopamine is released, they find themselves wanting to do it again. Like the next day, most guys, um, they call it the chaser effect, right? They either masturbate or ejaculate, then the next day they want to do it again. But it's never as pleasurable, right? If you actually just delay ejaculation, uh, if you control your ejaculation to a few times a month, You'll notice that when you do ejaculate, it feels so much better than when you're constantly ejaculating. Then the second orgasm that I explained, the non-ejaculatory orgasm, which is a pulsation of energy that happens throughout the body, is called a valley orgasm. So why is it a valley orgasm? Peak orgasm, ejaculation, is penetrative. It's like aggressive in a way. It's out there. It's outwardly focused. A valley orgasm is inwardly focused. And to experience this, you have to learn to actually have non-ejaculatory S3X, build that energy up and relax into it like a valley relaxes. You have to relax into it and then you feel the pulsation all throughout your body. And when you first experience it, it's quite pleasurable, but it's like, you know, a little bit like kind of subtle. It's just like, oh, was that it? Was that it? I remember the first time I experienced it, I called my mentor and coach. I was like, this is what happened. He's like, yeah, that's it. Now that you had the experience, the more that you do it, the more intense it'll become. And now you could become multi-orgasmic because when you have a non-ejaculatory orgasm, a man can actually orgasm or have that pulsation of energy multiple times. And the more intense it becomes, the more practiced you become, where you could feel that pulsation and that sensation through S3X go through your body many, many times. And if you're really practiced, you can even circulate that energy with your partner, giving you more intimacy and connection, delivering more pleasure in the bedroom to your wife or to your partner, and being able to create a dynamic experience in the bedroom. So there's the first is peak, ejaculatory. The second is valley, non-ejaculatory. And the third is spiritual orgasm. Not with anybody else, no S3X at all. And this can be experienced when you are practicing semen retention and you have tons of S3X energy flowing through your body and you're circulating and you take on a strong spiritual practice. I've experienced this just a few times in my life through meditation where I get into such deep states of meditation that it be, I become so self-aware, so into my awareness that I forget the outside world and just experience a consistent pulsation of energy, which is orgasmic. That is ananda. That is bliss. So spiritual orgasms require nobody else. And they're done at the very subtle level, at the subtle body, which means you have to bring your awareness to a subtle state. And that takes time, practice, and a whole process. And there are many processes in the world to do this. The yogic process, the alchemist process, the Taoist process. Most traditions, if you dive deep into the tradition and learn about the mysticism attached to the tradition, so not just the outward forms and rituals, but the actual deep practices, you'll recognize that many practitioners are experiencing this. And that's why they become natural renunciants. They don't have to force themselves to be a monk. They're just like, I'm good. I'm good. Their masculine and feminine is married within them. This is the analogy of like Shiva. Shiva is often depicted as half man, half woman. And he's sometimes depicted as a drunk. Like he was like kind of like, it's because he was ecstasy. He was in orgasm, but spiritually. 
This is the three different orgasms that can be experienced. If you'd like to experience this and start to train as a serious spiritual practitioner, reach out and connect with me on my calendar. I'd love to connect with you, talk to you more about where you're at, what your goals are. I can show you the different trainings that we have to see what's a right fit, and then we can get you to that point. I'd be happy to be your guide on this journey. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Never miss a video. I'll see you in the next video.